Hi. So, um, today was probably um, the best day I've had here. It was really hard, worked really hard, it was really productive, uh, very painful, and yet uh, I've never felt more useful. And so, went to uh, Irbid again today. Beautiful drive. Uh, they have three different clinics. Uh, today and tomorrow, there are um, all, all over uh, the sites in Jordan, there are surgeries going on. Uh, but I went to the psych social office, and uh, I was the only one of our, of our team. And so um, I, I was it. And so my job was to uh, provide services, uh, assist the psych social team there, uh, and provide uh, training as they, as they want it. And so the first hour, uh, I did a um, case conference, and uh, it was a, a very complicated case. Uh, the uh, therapist um, who presented it, presented it uh, I, I was amazed. Each case seems to be more complicated than the last. Um, and so it used all different modalities of play therapy and structure and behavioral modification. Um, this was a child. Uh, I should mention that my interpreter was this 19-year-old med student uh, from uh, Tunisia, uh, but I had lived in Saudi Arabia, and now was going to school in, in Jordan. Yeah, she was uh, she was delightful. She was very very good, um, and the team there is just fantastic. So anyway, after the um, uh, case conference uh, where we did the review, uh, we then moved into seeing clients, and there was a whole array. I mean, the clients uh, there were families, there were um, single mothers, there were uh, uh, men, there were um, old people, and uh, what they all had in common was horrific, horrific, sustained um, pain. Um, and uh, that's why I got concerned that uh, in the future we need to uh, prepare our, our interpreters ahead of time. Uh, she may be a med student, but uh, she was young, and uh, two of the cases. Uh, really uh, discussed torture in, in more de detail than um, this woman was expecting. And so it was, it was powerful. It was a slow dance of therapy. Um, I'm doing this therapy with this interpreter and with the therapist in the room. And uh, sometimes the therapist is helping with interpretations. Other times they're questioning uh, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Um, and taking taking lots of notes while I'm talking, um, it, it was just really good. And then we'd process afterwards. Um, every single case that we had ended up with, uh, uh, I think, a good treatment plan and a commitment, uh, a real commitment by the, the clients to to participate, um, mainly because they're hurting so much and they want the hurt to go away. Uh, what was really important here is. Uh, to define getting help for this horrific pain um, as self-care, as um, doing what's necessary, as solving a problem, and not as a uh, weakness, that the reactions are, are very normal, and what was not normal was the horrible things that happened to them. So anyway, so it was um, really, um, really sad, really uh, intrusive to all of us. I mean, talk about, uh, you know, vicarious traumatization. It was, you know, I don't feel like I'm traumatized, but I, you know, um, uh, these cases really touched me deeply, touched touched everybody deeply. And what I heard from um, other SAM workers uh, working at other clinics is that uh, interpreters were crying? Uh, people were just kind of falling apart. It was, uh, I, I think, part of it's it's we're we're near the very end. Um, people know who we are. Um, we're getting people who know that we're leaving, and so now they got to tell us what they're going to tell us, and uh, and it's coming out. Uh, but it's 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 really bad. But what's really good is this team. It is just a top notch team. The other. Th Thing that I was concerned about is this team is composed of uh, therapists from Syria who fled the war. And uh, so um, we talked about triggers, and they're very aware of triggers. 
and uh, they use every Wednesday as a time of uh, practicing self-care as a team, which I think is, is wonderful. I know that in the mental health field, we're not particularly good at taking care of the mental health of our, of our workers. Uh, and it's nice to see this place actually doing it. It reminds me of Emmaus Ministry that practices what they preach, that the first Monday of the, of the month is there. They close everything down, and they spend all their time together as a team uh, praying in, in all different styles and ways of praying and reading uh, corporately and individually. And uh, I think that's really important, and it shows integrity. And, and, and this, this group does that, too. Uh, so I would hope that uh, when, when I come back that uh, I go to Irbid. Um, you know, the, the camp is, is, it needs lots of services, but I think for psychologists, uh, this office, as it stands right now, is a place where we can get a lot of work done. The other part is I felt uh, like I was a very useful resource in terms of uh, training, uh, providing resources. We're going to keep in contact. We've exchanged uh, information so that uh, I can send them um, training um, opportunities as well and, and these folks really take advantage of uh, whatever training they can get their hands on. Uh, so that was it. Went back to uh, the Landmark Hotel to meet with everybody and we got ready for dinner and we went to this wonderful, wonderful um, hotel, not hotel, restaurant that was part inside, part outside. We ate outside the courtyard, which had the, kind of a big tent over it and fountains, and uh, the, the food was this Middle Eastern, you know, all different uh, dips and olives and pickles, and uh, then lamb and lamb sausage and beef and chicken, and I had this uh, mint lemonade drink that was just fantastic, and then afterwards uh, a cup of tea with uh, mint in it, and um, the conversation was great. People would break off into smaller groups and go over to you know, and have hookah. Uh, when we got ready to leave, uh, you know, uh, the whole group of them went out for more hookah. Uh, I, I passed on that. But it was a, a wonderful way to have our last meal together and, and say, boy, we need to celebrate one another because people are just, I mean, the, the surgeons, the medical staff are seeing, you know, 120 people a day. It's just incredible. Um, and the procedures are incredible, and this is just life-saving, you know, cleft palate surgery, uh, heart surgery, uh, just uh, orthopedics, just so much. It's just, it's incredible. Anyway, so tomorrow is um, our last day, and I'll be with uh, with my psych team at uh, um, Camp uh, Zottery, and um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing there yet. It's a busy, busy place, but I'm looking forward to the three of us actually working together again. Um, and uh, and then tomorrow evening there'll be uh, an award ceremony. It's not really the right word. It's probably more of a wrap up ceremony. But we all get a a certificate uh, that that says that we we did this. And trust me, I will frame mine. I will I will I find it precious. Uh, I'm gonna miss this team. They, these are incredible people from all over the world who have done so many things all over the world. Uh, and the the residents are so resilient. The refugees. Um, they're hurting so much, but they're they're resilient. Um, and then the, the the Sam's workers that are here on the ground that are living here, um, it'd be so easy to be bitter and giving up, and that's just not what they're doing at all. So, um, getting closer to wrapping it up. Uh, tomorrow will be my last day. Friday I have a day off, and I'll either go to Petra, uh, or you know, um, or I'll stay in town and go to the. Uh, Roman runes and some other runes and uh, the open markets and so I've got two nice choices um, and then Saturday heading home can't wait to be home uh, and uh, but I can't imagine life being normal for a while um, and I can't imagine letting go of this because I can't think of any good reason to let go of this this is uh, important good powerful stuff so that's all for now take care bye